Today on the channel from McFarland Toys in the DC Multiverse, we got Connell Superboy and we got Jay Garrick, The Flash. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another DC Multiverse unboxing and review from McFarlane Toys. And today we got Connell Superboy, and we got Jay Garrick the Flash. But for all your McFarlane Toys needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth, make sure you're using discount code KYLE to save yourself 10% on all in-stock items, and of course, anything over $59 does ship free. Gotta get a deal out there, and that's exactly what I did on these two. I picked them up over at Entertainment Earth. And of course, we're gonna do this review like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna see where it goes from there. And we're gonna start with Connell Superboy. Now, Superboy's had definitely different incarnations over the years, and the ones I think of is the OG Superboy, I guess the first appearance type Superboy. I remember that from comic books and stuff when I was a kid. But my favorite version always was kind of the death of Superman era of Superboy. Definitely a different look, a little bit more street tough look. And I'm not sure if this is exactly that, but right now it fits what I want it to be in my collection, if that makes sense. This reminds me of the death of Superman Superboy. So that's where I'm going to go as far as my collection goes. Get me the rest of those Superman. It sounds like we're going to get the, some of them, maybe all of them, uh, sooner rather than later. We did get the Eradicator just recently. So McFarland is slowly pumping some of these out, and that's what I'm going to be using this Superboy for, like I did say. But Connell, Superboy looking good. Of course, typical McFarland packaging, 22 points of articulation. Looking good in the package there. You got the Superman shirt, the red pants, the black leather jacket. I really do like this version. On the side, nothing too fun over there. Connell, Superboy. And then you got the same thing over here. And on the back, a little glamour shot, a little artwork action. Without further ado, let's pull them out of the package, see what all the fuss is about. See what's going on with little Superboy. We're going to get down to the bottom of it once we get this card out. If we get this card out. And of course the stand as well. Come on. There we go. See you later. Goodbye. A little spin on it. Never hurt anybody. And oh, I hate it when they come off separately. See you later. Goodbye. I like it when the stand comes with it. We've seen this stand a million times. I just wish it was easier to get to and easier to pop out. But there we go. Oh, it rolls off. Oh, it's on a roll. See you later. Bam. See you later. Frisbee style. And then I got the stand right here. Don't need to really talk about this too much. We've seen it a million times. But we do got to talk about this card. Let's see what's going on with our old friend Con L. Cloned from Kryptonian in human DNA and gifted with powerful tactile telekinesis, Superboy possesses abilities similar to that of the Man of Steel. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, Connell always strives to live up to the Superman name, but constantly questions his ability to do so. Of course, having the shared DNA of Lex Luthor, oh, plot twist, doesn't make it any easier on the young hero who lives in constant fear of what sort of influence his human side might hide. So I don't think it's quite the death of Superman, correct me if I'm wrong, but an interesting one at the end of the day is what we got going on here. But there he is in the plastic prison. You know, free him from the waist here. There we go. All right, Superboy. Pop on out here. What's going on? Plastic prison. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties everywhere. Twist ties. See you later. And now we get down to business here. And first thing I noticed is this head sculpt. He's got a little bit of a five o'clock shadow going on. Not a huge fan of the face on this one. A little bit maybe too light-skinned. I'm not exactly sure, but it almost looks like one of those baby porcelain dolls is kind of what the face looks like to me. It needs a little bit more life to it, maybe. Uh, so it is a little bit off there. The hair is on point. I like kind of the shaggy hair on top. You got kind of the shaved on the sides. That looks really good. Getting down to the leather jacket, man, I'm here for this. And the leather jacket actually feels different than I expected it to feel. I thought it'd be more hard. It's like a nice, soft, glossy kind of rubber. I'm here for that. Love the spikes on the coat as well. Love the Superman logo on the back. This is a cool leather jacket that I think a lot of us would wear out at night on the town. I'd wear this jacket if I had it in my collection. Got the S on the side here. Very cool spin on the traditional superhero Superman uh, motif, I guess we'd call it. Is instead of the cape going on, uh, the played out cape, cape season. It's not for everybody. It works for the Landos of the world. Doesn't work for Superboy. So he's going with his black leather jacket instead. And man, I'm here for that. Got some red gloves going on there. Looks like he's going to hop on a bicycle and ride the Tour de France maybe. Uh, I don't know. He's got those bicycle kind of gloves going on. Got the blue shirt underneath with the Superman logo. Of course, the Superman logo, very iconic as we all know. 
Nice belt here with gray belt buckle uh, against the black belt. Got the nice studs on there. Looks like something right out of Rob Halford's catalog out of Judas Priest. I'm here for that as well. You got kind of the satchel going on around here. It's all sculpted in, but you get some brown against that red to break up that red color a little bit. Got some black knee pads and got some Doc Martin-like boots because he's a young young kid. He's angry. He's got his uh, Doc Martens on. He's ready to go. He's ready to throw down if he needs to. Articulation, head, back, forth, side to side. Good head movement. No problems there. A lot of down. Not a ton of up, but a little bit of up there. Arms do go all the way around. You do get the bicep cut. Back and forth, double jointed elbows looking really nice. Of course, they do have pins in them. Hands back, forth, side to side. Uh, you got that splayed out hand. You got one fist of fury. I think that works for a super boy. You got the hula hoop at the top. You got the traditional waist. Big old splits right there for super boy. He's not messing around. You do get double jointed knees, boot cut, no boot cut, but you do get the ankle cut side to side, back and forth. So plenty of articulation here for Superboy. A really, really good figure that was kind of on my long game list. Uh, I don't mind this figure at all outside of the head sculpt. I think the head could have been a little bit better, but I love the body style on this. Uh, if you're a great customizer or something, you could bring this face out a little bit more, and this would be a tremendous figure, I think. I really like how this one looks. Definitely feels Superboy, but also feels a little bit... Uh, different a little bit more punk rock is what this one kind of feels like let's call it that or heavy metal who knows but superboy looking good uh, i'll give him a solid b we'll give him a solid b why not but now we're gonna turn our attention over to jay garrick the flash and if you guys are like me when i think of flash i think of the old super friends costume the red costume the very iconic 80s costume uh that's really what i think of in flash and i don't think of the old school flash look here and that's what jay garrick's representing the old school the olden days all oh, the olden days but a very cool looking figure and one that is very iconic. Even if I don't know a ton about this representation of the Flash, I've definitely seen comic books. I've seen posters. I've seen tons of stuff with this and it just looks really cool. I've always thought it looked really cool. Definitely feels a little different, looks a little different than the Flash. I interpret, but I uh, just like this one enough that I said, you know what? I want to pick this one up just because I like the look and the detail of this. But let's see what all the fuss about once we get him out of the package. That's always a good way to go, but looking good old Jay Garrick there. Love the blue and the red coloring. Just really cool. Love how he's posed in the package as well. The Flash Jay Garrick. Jay Garrick, the Flash age on the side. Nothing too fun on this side. And then you got that old school classic artwork back there looking really nice. Uh, how about that helmet? I'm not sure about that. That's what was always strange to me. Is that weird like uh, saucer flying pan, frying pan helmet he's kind of got going on there. See you later. Goodbye. But we're going to find out all about this guy in the back of the card. Oh, it was almost a rookie card unboxing there. See you later. Goodbye. Can I get the uh, standout? Will it come? Oh, rookie. See you later. Goodbye. I got the rookie unboxing there. Always disappointed in myself. Always a tough day at the office. But let's see what the old Flash Jay Garrick is up to from the Flash Age, of course. After a strange and bizarre laboratory accident, man, you just got to stay out of these laboratories. Always dangerous. Jay Garrick awoke to discovery he had gained amazing abilities. He could move at superhuman speeds, far beyond those of any normal man or woman. Donning a costume and stylized metal helmet based on the one worn by the Roman god Mercury. Okay. Jay used his powers to fight crime and protect the citizens of Keystone City. Beautiful this time of year. He became the fastest man alive, the hero of Earth 2, The Flash. So uh, good for old Jay Garrick. How come that never happens in real life? I remember in science classes, it was like my freshman year of college. I was very bored in class just sitting there and I had some Wrigley gum. And I had the wrapper, you know, the silver kind of metallic wrapper. And I'm sitting here folding it around, just kind of staring off into space, just waiting for class to get on. And we had uh, outlets right there in front of us. And I said, you know what? Uh, well, I don't know what I said. I didn't say anything. I wasn't thinking. And I stuck it in the outlet and it shocked me. And then all of a sudden the outlet started smoking right there in class. A little bit embarrassing. A little bit fun. I played it off. You know how that goes. Uh, but it was a, quite the day there at the old office at the old science class. Blowing out the outlet. Having some smoke and fire. Pro tip, kids. Don't put your Wrigley gum wrappers in an outlet because apparently it conducts electricity. Who'd have thunk it? Not daydreaming Kyle. He wouldn't have. So be careful. A little PSA out there for you guys and gals too. Uh, but there's old Jay Garrick looking only like a Jay Garrick could look if he was in the McFarland toys line looking really nice there. Oh my gosh, we got twist ties everywhere here. Just an embarrassing amount of twist ties. Even on the effect pieces. Man, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that at all. Let's get those twist ties out of here. I'm, I'm sick of them. I'm sick of always having to cut these guys out always fighting them and then we do know about these twist ties with McFarlane toys that sometimes especially on the joints they're so tight on there and I truly do think that's what loosens some of these arms and stuff when they break off I think it's because of these twist ties holding everything down too tightly so uh, there is a, a, some danger there's some danger with these twist ties 
But I'm saying it right here. There we go. Breaking twist ties left and right. Breaking hearts, too, from time to time, as you guys know. Oh, we got taped in hands. Man, they're just, they're not wanting Jay Garrett going anywhere. I got another taped one, one on the hand up here. Man, a lot of twist ties on him. He is the flash, after all. He will run away. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's break this one down. Let's get down to it business here and we got two hands there's kind of the two fists of fury in case the flash has to slow down and punch somebody in the face or speed up and punch him in the face but he also has kind of the the surfing hands the, the i'm gonna run fast hands you know that kind of weird those people that run like this with their hands it's always strange i, I see people running around first i would say what are they running from who's chasing them and why are they running like this i don't know but the flash apparently does from time to time Got those two hands there. Four different effect pieces here for his arms and on his legs. Uh, very interesting. I guess it really just blows up. It's so flash. He's just flying by. He's got some lightning going on. That's how fast he's flying. But some cool effect pieces here. Theoretically, you could use these with other characters if you really wanted to. So that's always a little bit of a bonus there. So we got four of those. Then we get down to the old Flash figure, and I think this one's pretty cool. Actually, I like this one. It does feel new. It feels modern toy, of course, but it just really feels classic, like back in the day, and I guess it's the golden age, so it should. Head sculpt may be a little bit small. He might have a little bit of a small head. He does got that uh, interesting hat there with the flash wings on it in yellow, the silver hat. Uh, a little bit porcelain doll in the face, much like we saw with Superboy there. Not as bad. I wish just the head was just a tad bigger on the body here. You got the lightning bolt on the chest there. You got the red uh, shirt over top. You got two fists of fury, like I said, with the red gloves going on. Love the yellow belt kind of breaking up the monotony between the two colors. Love the baby blue color. Just a very cool color. Uh, I really do like the baby blue color on this one. Then you got the flash little uh, wings down there on the feet and uh, looking really nice. You know what? I forgot to talk about Superboy. Of course, he's got the toe articulation. I forgot to mention that. Jay Garrick also has the toe articulation. Legs back and forth. Double jointed knees. Very tight knees there. He can do those big old flash splits if he needs to. Got the hula hoop at the top. Got the traditional waist. Got the butterfly shoulders. Got the bicep cut. But got the double jointed elbows, hands removable side to side, back and forth, and of course, head back and forth, side to side, up and down. So good movement out of old Jay Garrick here, the old Flash himself, the fastest guy around. Who's going to win between the traditional Flash and Jay Garrick? Who's going to win in that race? I don't know. It could be a pick em. It could be a pick em. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. That's the way it goes. But Jay Garrick, he's ready to speed into our hearts and speed into our collections here on the channel today and there's a lot of different flash characters out on the pegs right now so if you're a flash fan or a flash expert you're probably pretty excited and i think there is another version of jay garrick i might pick up if i can find a deal on a uh, blue outfit or a blue shirt type thing i think it was part of a build a figure wave as well uh, but definitely like this one this is the one i remember seeing at comic book shops things like that like i said not really familiar with him but definitely familiar from seeing him in comic books and things like that over the years a very very cool figure had to add this for my collection i'm okay with both these figures both uh, i'm gonna prefer jay just a little bit more superboy would be really good if they could fix that porcelain face jay needs a bigger head uh, that's really the only two faults I really have with each of these figures. Very, very cool. Happy to have them in my collection. But let's say you guys out there in YouTube land, you pick either of these up, picked them both up, passed on both, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. Yes, you heard it right, and then some. We got even more content, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon for you. You also get pizza reviews, Q&As, giveaways, bonus content, you name it. And best of all, you do support the channel and everything that happens on this fair YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Jay and Connell, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.